Uh, we're going to remove the uh, transmission. So the first thing uh, we do is we're going to drain the tra the oil. So what uh, transmission are you dealing with here? It's a uh, sail drive, um, Yamaha sail drive. Yeah, um, Yanmar. Yanmar. What sorry. model? I SD50, eh? SD50. Yeah. Because you don't tend to have this kind of problem with the uh, SD60, eh? The SD60 no. is a. Uh, is not a, a um, these cone clutches, so uh, kind of uh, a thing that we have to deal with uh, with the SD50 is uh, continuously uh, removing the polished um, uh, cones oh. and cup um, by uh, what you'll see later on in this uh, video. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we've got the oil out. This is the top bearing underneath. So we've loosened these three Three of the four bolts are gone. This is the last, the fourth of the bolts holding that top down. Yeah. And under wow. here. And put the bolt in the, in the shaft. And put the bolt in the shaft. Yep, yeah, put it in there. Does it screw in there? Yeah. Okay, and that should allow us to pull that whole thing out. Right. Okay, and now we've got these four bolts here, the, those those there, there, okay. there, and below, and these shims. You've got to make sure we don't don't right. mess no. them up, eh? Yep. These shims are what sets up the the preload on that bearing. Okay. I'm okay. Gonna put them over this side because I have a cloth here. And uh, right. Um, Now you're able to loosen the nut and um, uh, reuse the same nut uh, if you are very careful. Um, so there's the shop. Yep. Yeah, and there. Okay. Good. Give me a lever and I can move the world. Shaft. So now the shaft oh. can come out. So grab that thing. Yep. And uh, you're going to pull that whole thing out. Okay, let me. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. Yeah, this is two halves that, that go in here. Okay. You see, so then you can. Sort of as a lock. Yeah, it, uh, what, 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 that's what uh, stops it from going through there. You see, there's two halves. Right. I get. And, and then they when, get buried in the when, collar. When the when the collar comes in. Yeah. So okay, let's just uh, let's just take it out. Okay. Then I'm gonna put the two halves in there. I'm gonna pull that whole cone thing out there, and take the power that thing off. And there you go. Now. You see, there's a spring that stops this one, this kind. There's another spring. Where's the other spring? Oh, the one. It's only got the one because of the weight of the thing. Oh, Four. that's right. Because it's a, it counters the weight of that of that goodie. So, so what you have to do is there. Is you first you got to match it nicely, you know. So, so, so now um, we know that. Let's just make sure that we don't get this wrong again. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, actually, just put a scratch on one side. Okay, so you know that the, the washer, the spring, has got a, a recess for it. Yep. Okay. This and this, uh, the spring has got a recess, and it can't. Uh, do you see how, the, how kind of shiny that one yep. is? Okay. All right. So now I don't know if I even even have. Uh, uh, grinding paste. So then you can, I don't know if this one comes out at all, it's probably wrapped into that thing so you can just take it. Uh, 
um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shrimp, isn't it? Persian blue. Prussian blue. Prussian blue. Grinding paste. No, not grinding paste. Not grinding paste? No. So, this was the one that's going in there. So now you go and you put a very thin layer of this on there. If you take it and go into this, do you see how it's lapping everywhere? Yeah. It's telling me a story again. Okay? Right. And if I take that same thing there, it tells me there's contact everywhere. So I take this same thing and all my oil off first so there's no oil on the surface to, to, to that's kind of very thin very narrow tolerance now very narrow, narrow tolerance and I'll take this thing and I'll put this thing on it and I'll lap those two into each other so those are the two surfaces that I'm mating with each other and look at it. Do you see where it's touching? Yeah. Not everywhere. Eh? Yeah. You see it? Not touching everywhere. Yep. Poor lap job. Poor lap job, eh? Okay, so now I know this one is doing doing good, okay? So all I'm gonna do is put my my um, thing and uh, so uh, by the way, what is the, the only rate I'm charging you? Uh um seventeen. Thousand or are you talking <laughs> seventeen dollars an hour? <laughs> no, I think well, I think you got the wrong uh, the no, wrong the, the wrong rate. Is it, I think Larry, I got a check zero your facts. on the end. Yeah. Larry Larry doesn't work for that cheap mm -hmm, so no. no, okay. Very little of this, okay. Very little of it. And this is the one that goes with that surface, eh? So now we'll go in there. And remember, we're going to have to clean all this grinding paste. I'll grind all the bearings to yeah. shit, eh? So. Feel it, eh? Yeah. Don't. Now we'll just keep your hand flat, eh? Oh. Keep, keep, keep your hand flat, yes, sir. So even pressure on both on so all sides. Everywhere, so you're not there kinking it, eh? Very little. Then gravity do the, a lot of the work on the brass, and yeah. I'm just turning the other one. Gravity on this doing a lot of the work, and I'm just turning the rest. Okay. The okay, yeah, it's grinding in there. L look how nice it's 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 uh, blued blued all over. Eh? going to use that gas again then eh? once we've done this yep. because this is, this is kind of the full of gr grinding paste eh? so we'll throw this we'll throw this away and get it out of the grooves there out of the groove there out of the groove check there's nothing in the groove eh? Yeah, because this will, this will grind our bearings up very nicely for us. 
and and of course take this and we're going to throw this rag away as well. Eh? Yep. And wipe it. Wipe it. You see, I'm even thinking there's some there's some over there inside that thing that I'm going to get rid of again. Yeah. Don't 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 throw away. I'm going to do the other other one. Okay. Then, then we Okay, so now what I want to do is to make sure that I've done done one and I'm finished with it. I'm not doing, not coming back with it. Um, I'm Go going ahead. to, I'm going to blue version blue it again. Yep. And then I know I'm done. And the idea is don't let it be thick. That's as thick as it because you just want to see where it's been mating. That's so thin, it's just just not true. It's so thin, isn't it? Feel, feel how that locks. Yeah. Feel how that locked in. And it's just with my hand pressure. Wow. Just with. Just with the hand pressure. <laughs> That's what makes this transmission work. Okay, so I've done that one. Right. So now, take this one, put him aside. It's going to be part of the same I'm just going to wash that out and when right. I, before I throw that away. So now it's this one. And uh, short of me taking this thing, this uh, socket of mine out, which is probably what I should be doing uh, to get in there properly so now I can clean it up. Pull it out there, leave it there, and, and, and deal with this one. Eh? But remember, I've got those other little bearings in here, in here as well, eh? Okay. So I'm going to lay that down there. I'm going to lay these bearings down there with a little spacer in bit. Oh, this was the spacer is in, in that side. The spacer was in there as opposed to... So I need to check that out, eh? Okay. Where's my... All right, clean this out. And now you can see that quite clearly where the shiny part is, eh? You see where it is? Poorly lapped, eh? Or it's worn out, okay? Now remember that, that now we're doing this, we're doing this one now. Eh? you see it there, Phil? Yeah. So just a, the same, not much of the lapping compound in there. No, very little. If you, if you yeah. put too much lapping compound in... You're not making a good... No, then, then, then the, the, the contacts on it may... The, yeah. con, the, con, the lapping stuff is just is as thin as can be. Remember, we're throwing all those rags away and everything. Yeah. Once we've done this, eh? I can send you up there next time to do this job, huh? Yeah, absolutely.